Welcome to Monster Mondays, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> you can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with me. I'm your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco. This is my brother, my co-host. It's the Rang One, the main gun, aka Captain African America. And I'm here with my favorite DJ. DJ Rec, what's happening with it? Yeah. 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 How y'all doing, brothers? Brothers? You, good. you, you talking to us or you talking to somebody else? I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking uh, to y'all, man. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you know, when he says yeah, brothers, he's talking to us. He said, how y'all doing? He be talking to everybody. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad y- y'all helped me work that out. Rec, you're, you're, very, <laughs> you're very observant and protective. I mean, perceptive <clears throat> young man, and I appreciate you for it. Gentleman and a scholar. My God. So, we're going to talk about something. I don't know. I don't know if this is fun. Um... <laughs> It's definitely fun. E. It's not <laughs> fun for me, man. Because it's even saying that I'm, I'm out the loop. I'm getting old, or you know what I'm saying? It's, it's saying something about how old I am right now, <laughs> for real. Because I, I mean, really think this is not the shit. Oh, I, all right. I get what you're saying, and I feel the same way. Yeah, just but I know saying. it is the shit, though. You know what I'm saying? To you, people that's not us. Though? So people that's not us, I'm pretty sure they would say it's the shit. But is it though? <laughs> but is it though? We can only say what we can say, man. I, I can't, you know? <laughs> all right, all right. So um, we want to get, let's just jump. You want, you want to tell them what we're talking about? All right, man, listen. We're talking about guys getting just as pretty as women and putting fake hair in, uh, Spraying Beijing in. Oh man. <laughs> the way you just said it makes it sound even worse. Don't let nature take it take its course, man. All right. That's what we're gonna call this segment. Okay. Let, let nature take when its course. When men don't let nature take its course. <laughs> right. All right. So we know your position on this whole thing. You're damn right. <laughs> I mean, yes, I I I, I think I think I share your position, your your your, your stance on this. Wreck halfway shares my position. No, now, now you just said you said Beijing, right? So now yeah. you don't like Be- you think Beijing's bad too? Yeah, because you know what I'm saying. For brothers like me, I go to the barber shop, I come out, my shit looking nice. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of hair left. I'm 40 plus. Yeah. People just don't believe it because Beijing <laughs> is out. I got to hear stuff like, "Oh, you getting Beijing? You doing?" I'm not. I never touched the stuff. Never, <laughs> never touched the stuff, but I gotta hear yeah. this stuff. People in pictures, my friends I used to go to public school with. Oh, you doing Beijing? You done never touched the stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, mean, I let my know, afro grow out. I'm adding here to my shit. No, I'm not. Never touched the stuff, man. Never. Well, you know what? I never would do it, all man. You would make your make your line up sharp. I, you know I never would do it, man. When the line goes, it goes, bro. <laughs> that's what I. That's how I was raised, man. Yes. All right, that's how I was raised. Seeing people uh, grow up having the George Jefferson, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you gonna let it go all having the way? Uh, Carl Jefferson? Winslow with the shit George in the Jefferson? middle going, man. Like this, is how I grow up, man. This, this this stuff has to happen. So you gonna let it go all the way to the reef around here? No, I told you what I'm gonna do. Me and you agree. Listen, <laughs> when my shit start going gray, I'm dying everything gray. All right, yeah. when it starts going where my hair is just all over the place, I gotta cut it off, man. Either yeah. the light Caesar or I gotta go all the way. And I don't have the best head in the world, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that. Pause. <clears throat> Pause. <laughs> well, I was thinking, personally. Yeah. Um. The Beijing, and there are other. There are is like just for men. They got other things, right? You know, these are things. Well, just for men is different. That ain't Beijing. See, all I, right. I rock just for men. What's the I think just for men is like a shampoo or something, right? Nah, or something bro, it's you like, rub. It's like hair dye. Well, you shampoo it out. Oh, it's hair. You know what I mean? well, what's so what's Beijing? What's that Beijing? Hair dye? <laughs> no, Be- Beijing is when they spray the black stuff in your hair or whatever. But it's still hair dye, dye, right? That, but that is like a temporary type of situation. Right, like, right, right. I don't think you could wash just for men now. I don't think. I think if water yeah. hits you, just for men still just stay in, right? Yeah. Beijing is gonna come all over your face, right? Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I don't know because I never really, uh, I never did Beijing before. But, but I'm assuming that uh, that it probably would come out pretty easy. My bad. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. That's like some stuff that. But it's like Carlos Boozer. You ever seen when they get to the Carlos Boozer? When Carlos no. Boozer had the, the painted on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then oh, after yeah. the game, when he's sweating, they show it after the game. Oh, it's, nice. it's, it's the ball spot with the black stuff everywhere. Why oh, would you get man. lined up with some Beijing before a game? A right? game. Knowing you're going to sweat. These that guys got to do pregame interviews and, and stuff be. like that. <laughs> I had to be his first time using it or something. How many times you got caught slipping like that? He got caught on Shaq and the Fool quite a few times, man. With, oh, that time. man. They show Karan Butler lace, lace front, fake Karan, hair. Yo, all right. So, <laughs> all right. Salute. I mean, I don't, I'm, you know, I, I like to be, I like to not. You know, I like to try not to be hateful or, you know what I'm saying, or, yeah. or malicious with my words. But Karan Butler, like when I saw him that day, cause remember, like I didn't watch basketball like like you when we was kids. Right. Like I started watching basketball heavy when Melo came to the Knicks, right? Karan Butler was already a ball head nigga by that time. So for years later after that, for me to turn on ESPN and see this nigga with a, with, a, with with one of the baby flat tops. Oh, oh man. But oh. not only that, how do you come there and do that when the day before you was ball headed? That's what I'm <laughs> saying. See, that's, son. My, that's exactly a my point. Baby don't flat you gotta top? kinda make it believable? You don't even grow like a little afro, let it be rough so people can say, oh, he grew that. Like you don't even try to trick him. That's it. <laughs> you just come that's with it. a full head of hair. Like nah, I seen I seen a video of a dude the other day that, that went and went to the uh shop and, and ended up getting a, a pop smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the nigga was just, smoke with braids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With the braids going like this right here. Wait up, but it was fake hair? It was fake hair, bro. And it had like the whole, like his scalp line and the whole jump off. I was like, damn, he went from like broke the prop to pop smoke. Right, so this is my <laughs> question, man. Is this some bitch nigga shit? So when you guys want to start your own side hustle, your own business, whatever it is that you guys want to do, people are going to call it your little business, right? They're going to call it your little business, your little side hustle, but that's okay. When I wanted to start my own hair care line, someone told me, aren't there already hair care lines out? When I wanted to start selling courses, people told me that's all you do is sell stuff on the internet. And when I decided to buy rental properties instead of investing in my own personal house, people told me that you don't own a home, you own houses. So people are always going to have something negative to say, but it does not matter. What they're really doing is projecting their insecurities onto you, right? They really want to be in the position that you're in to have that faith in yourself to um, accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Owning my own business outweighs the benefits of me going back to a nine to five. So there's no reason to give up. This is Miles the Nation Jade, and I think you should start your journey to financial freedom right now. So go to the website that you see here or click the link in the description below or find me on IG and click the link in my bio, Exotic Jade Eyes. See, I don't is know. Is this I... something like, I don't like to use the word and all that, but you know, back in the days we used to say, yo, yeah. that's gay, that's this, this, that. Yeah, yeah. Would that fall under those categories? See, I don't know, because I, I would never do it personally, but I don't know what kind of niggas do it, to be honest. I mean, you know all right. Like, so that's I mean, true. But, that's a good point. Levels, but, I don't but, know but either. Nah, but it's levels to it. You talking about the Beijing niggas and you talk about hairpiece niggas. No, he See, just now, okay, said okay. somebody got braids. So you had to get sold in. No, bro. he didn't even get it sold in, though. They did the glue jump off. They like shaved oh, so his you head or get whatever. Glue. Yeah, yeah, all that is just too much. Right though. On there. Like, that's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm talking about like stuff like that. Like, yeah. Maybe you like, just spray on at the barbershop. So that's niggas do it. I see yeah, it. Niggas but do that. I wouldn't yeah, do it if I seen it. Yeah. All this getting here when you don't have hair and gluing it and sewing it. What, I'm, what not, is I'm it? never I'm never gonna do that. I'm saying that's me neither. And I could probably use that right now. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm never going to do that. You understand? I'm just work. I'm just doing research, changing eating habits, looking for some oils, some herbs, some something. Other than that, I'm gonna be the nigga with the Doc Rivers, Chris Paul, one one guard all the way down to the lowest. You know what I'm saying? The lowest of the low seas. Do you still some need hair. the hair? Why don't you just go all the way? Yeah, why don't you just right, go all the way? Right, that's what I say. Just, just, just come on in, just man. The water's fine. Take that joint off, man. Strain, first of all, you the pause. Second of all, you don't invite me in. You still got a full head of hair. And 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 you 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 you, you listen. You I only got a, I only got one or two seasons left, brother. Trust me on that. 
Don't, don't think I'm sitting here like, hey, man, I'm done. Nah, man, I ain't do nothing nah, special. And this Listen, stuff is going. Hilarious. Listen, son. I didn't do nothing special. I personally have been sunroofing for years. I'm, as a matter of fact, to be completely honest, when I was a kid, uh, I remember when I was 11 years old, a nigga told me I was going to lose my hair early. Oh, right? Because cause at the top of my head, my hair was thinner. Right? But mm-hmm. I was like, huh? What the fuck is that? Right? So after that, I got a flat top, you know, braids. Like dreads. that drove you to get dreads and the whole like, night. All, all like, that, like, I'm going to grow all this. Like, right. You understand what I'm saying? And, and all of that hair grew or whatever. But when I, when I, when I, when I, when I cut my dreads and then I cut my fro, I was I was fighting the wave. I was fighting the fight of the niggas with waves, right? Oh, yeah. And that lasted for a little while, but you could always see what homeboy was talking about when I was young or whatever. Yeah. Like, but I didn't I didn't I didn't really I never tripped off of it until recently. Like not now, like I'm over 40, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you start to see this. So my Caesar has gotten lighter and lighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, as long okay. as I yeah, as long as I still got a hairline, like when I get it, have you seen the pictures that have surfaced of me online lately in my suit with my, like my fucking hairline is, is defined, nigga. That's that, that's that's that Kenny saying, Smith though, shit, man. They got, my, that, they got that Beijing stuff, right? That's that, that Kenny they Smith shit. Dark. It's, it's, it's all it's like, different. No, you seen Kenny Smith shit right. though? Like Kenny nah. Smith is bald. Somebody put a, a hairline on his shit so it <laughs> makes nah. the rest of his shit look Oh, now nah, you're trying to play me, God. That ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't me, God. No, yeah, but you know what, though? Try you know to play me, God. This, oh, no, what I'm trying to say is the headline my, makes a difference. I want my That's five minutes, Gary. I want my five minutes after this. No, what I'm trying to say is the headline makes a difference. Like, I never knew that. Oh, yeah. Kenny Smith ain't have one, but somebody put one on shit, and it makes the whole shit look different nah, somebody like, might have somebody might have drew that on kenny though I, that's that's why I yeah but my point is it makes the rest of his head look good so when you say yo as long as i got a hairline i understand yeah. that yeah yeah because yeah. all he did was put had somebody make a hairline on, and it makes his head look mm-hmm. more fuller right you, even you know, though he um, got he don't really he got the actually, same thing you got bro no he don't got the same thing i got spray. Yes, yes, <laughs> no, we don't got the same thing I got. Yes, he do. No, we don't. Yeah, he got the same thing you I got. You got more than what he got. You're but right. It makes, but it makes his look better because of the hairline. You're missing the right. point. Right. All right. I'm oh, trying man. to agree with you because you said, yo, long it as don't I got sound like it. Well, how come it don't sound like it, did, nigga? How come it don't sound like it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, no, but you know they got some stuff in a spray can that that barbecue <laughs> spraying. No, 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 no. They be spraying, they be spraying the fibers. They be spraying hair fibers onto the joint. Yo. You know what I'm actual, saying? Like actual hair fibers, actual like little fibers or whatever that connect to the hair and make your stuff look like fuller. But it ain't the Beijing stuff. Listen, this house was explained to me, and I don't know if this is true or not. We have pores up here in our head. Yeah. These things be clogged, man. So the thing is to unclog them. Now that's the that's that's where the mystery is at. You got so many things that say they unclog them. You got to see which ones work and which ones don't. But yeah. that's the that's the goal right there to unclog your your pores in your head. Huh. All right. And, and now you got to start. Y'all do it. Y'all do with that information. All right. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I mine's clogged to death. You know, I just made it high if, here, uh, if that's the situation. <laughs> I yeah, take that jacket and that hat off and shit. I'm not bro. taking the hat off, but I will take the jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> take your jacket and your hat off and all that. Get comfortable. All right. So now, now let's if talk nobody, to the if, let, let's say you went someplace or whatever, right? And you were uh, like, nobody knew you there, right? And you had an opportunity to get a man piece. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> would you? Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. West Coast time and 11 to 1 a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl radio stations.